How you going guys? Sci-Fi, back again with another video, a uh, subscriber's choice, number 35. And I've got to thank uh, one of my good YouTube mates, Joe Eversoul. He's out there. He's cool. Um, he'll write a comment down below, I'm sure. Um, link to him. And say hello. Great channel that he's got. Anyway, what he wanted to see, I don't know, I brought up um, some of my musical... Legends action figures from McFarlane due to the fact that I've got quite a few McFarlane figures from Spawn uh, Walking Dead uh, And of course music guys. So yeah music rock stars And he said show me a Gene Simmons collection not many only two But they're quite interesting figures. Um, I'll do the six inch figure first some focus, got a lot of sunlight coming in here. Um, this is Gene Simmons from the Psycho Circus series. These guys came out roughly when Spawn came out. Now, gotta admit, geez, I'm not getting any focus here, sorry. No, not even a hand behind. Yeah, big sunlight coming straight through. Yeah, um, these came out with um, the McFarlane comic book series as well. Um, uh, Gene Simmons's suit had, he had the bat wings, the giant sort of horns and stuff on him. I'm missing a few bits of him as well. Come on. Also, his hair. <laughs> I actually found this dude. I actually got this guy back in the late 90s and I lost him. Lost him big time. Um, there we go. I only found him a few years ago going through some boxes. Yeah, he has that synthetic hair and you can't control it. If you comb it, it um, combs it off its scalp. Um, and the bat wing there, I tried to dust it down and little flecks of black stuff were falling off of it and it's deteriorating. Also missing a few of the um, armor piece, pieces that go on him. Missing his uh, top calf and knee piece. Um, yeah, he's got the cool, awesome axe base. I love that. That was based during the, I think, I don't know, probably Love Gun, Live 2. I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit more wilder, or overdone than the actual kiss, the actual Gene Simmons suit that it is. But yeah, it's a nice piece, and they came out with Peter Chris, Ace Freely, Paul Stanley. They came with a comic book. I do have a few of the Psycho Circus comic books. They're not bad. I mean, the McFarlane, they're way out there. Very cool. So yeah, that's my Gene Simmons Psycho Circus. Late 90s, managed to find him. He still stands up and got most of his bits. Not bad at all. Anyway, I'll put him aside. And this one I've got. This is a surprise of mine. I've got Gene Simmons. So I got this one uh, circa probably 2010, 11. And then it was probably released about 2000. Five or six, I don't know. Came in a big box. He's about a foot tall, 12 inches. Um, I still got his box, but I didn't want to pull it out. I will, I will, we will go down. I'll get on my hands and knees and we'll have a look. But um, yeah, this is circa Alive, Kiss Alive, the very first Kiss album, uh, the very first Alive Kiss album, which was about 75, I think. Still again incorporates the bat. Wings doesn't have those big, but I love those boots, man. If anything, I'd like to get from Gene Simmons' collection. Those damn boots, man! How tough are they? Very cool. Yeah, Gene Simmons. He's more of a statue than an actual figure. You can move him around. I had had to move him around. He's very hard to stand up. Um, yeah, born Kyan Wits. Um. Started up the band Wicked Lester before Kiss, and then suddenly they 
saw a Japanese theatre show with all face paint. Probably got a bit of influence from Alice Cooper and then became the biggest band of all time. So yeah, that's pretty cool. He's I'm gonna walk around, I'm not gonna move him. Let's do a walk around. It's tough, it's all solid plastic. Even the bat wings. The old boots. I do remember that from the Kiss Alive album one. The first one. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, I haven't got the uh, base strap. The base strap still sits in the box. It was very hard to attach. So that's why he's riding the base up nice and high. And still then, back then in 75, we didn't have the axe base. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll, um, I'll give you my first interpretation. When I, when I first laid eyes on a Kiss album, I think it was, oh, geez, this is way years ago. Uh, I think I was at a record store with my folks and they were looking for stuff and I saw Rock and Roll Over, that album, if anyone, or Kiss mates who know that album from the Kiss Army. Um, all drawn, you know, Theory Demon, lasers coming out of Ace Frehley's eyes, Cat Dude. And I said, Mum, buy that album. And mum, my mother just went, no, you got to be joking. But that was my first look at Kiss, of course. They toured Australia in 80. And that was incredible. Um, yeah, Gene Simmons with the course he's doing Kiss. I'll go to close with this tongue. I hope it focuses, it'd be nice if it does. It's only got little porous features on it. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. When Gene Simmons pokes his tongue out, everyone goes, yes. When Miley Cyrus pokes her tongue out, she just looks like a Muppet. Someone's forgotten to pull one of the strings in. But anyways, I'll go have a look. Um, I should have bought a lot more of my Kiss stuff downstairs to show off. Um, yeah, there's the box. I'll go. It's McFarlane box there, along with Orange County, Tron, Tom Araya. We've got a poster from Dynasty from the CD, and of course, ginormous Kiss flag. Still got a few albums, not many. Sold a few off for quite a few bucks because they are in good condition. And the bad condition ones I'm just going to keep for my own sake. First album I ever bought was Alive 2, the big gatefold album. Fantastic. Dynasty, was a great album. Sounded very disco -y, but who cares. Alright guys, that's about it, Joe. Thank you for giving me a tap on the shoulder to bring these figures out. And get my McFarlane guy out again. Stand true. Please, he does. All right, guys, there you go. Um, so yeah, anyone who wants a shout out and a sub and some video, uh, some figures to look at, yeah, sure, I'll do it. All right, guys, you take care. You want the best, and you got the best. The hottest band in the world. Kiss.